I'm just gonna do a real quick tour of my um, new, brand new classroom we've got set up for my family childcare home. Here's our parent wall. Um, here's a little schedule that I downloaded from Mother Goose Time curriculum. They've been just a huge help and that was a lifesaver being able to have that up there. It's a really great schedule. Um, cute little signs here of our classroom rules that go over important things. And then these center signs are really neat. So here's our art center. I just took an Ikea easel and cut it in half essentially and stuck it on the wall because again my classroom's tiny. I've got those uh, areas up there to hang up with some clips as we do some art. Um, here's our circle time board and again with the Mother Goose Time curriculum they have these downloads for purchase and this is like a one-to-one -one correspondence with colors and then we've got some music cards here. Um, this is all available for download on their website and then they also have some calendar pieces and some things that um, and then when I get my monthly boxes, I'll have more to add to that. This number line was from there as well that I was able to create. Um, be a really neat teaching tool. And up on this shelf, I have some uh, art pieces. And, and down below here is our magnet uh, board. I've got some magnet pieces there. But again, up here, these cute little stick toppers. As kids want to pull them out and find a song to sing, we've got um, another little center over here this is a um those signs are from there as well this is my light table um built that just out of like a piece of ikea furniture man it just didn't really even cost anything and put that uh, mirror there for effect and then this really cool uh material is also from mother goose time and it's just a <clears throat> an alphabet uh, set up where kids can, you know, they see it up high, even though I've got a mixed age group, kind of need to keep that up there that they can ask for it and we can work with those materials a piece at a time. And my science center as well, it's set up with the December um, uh, science curriculum. And then um, our word wall as it forms as we go through the months, as well as our little writing center right now just has real simple two little pieces of crayon in there. Um, and uh, covered that table with contact paper just to make it a little more durable. It's our library. It's super tiny, but it does exactly what we need. Um, and then this is kind of cool. You can download these songs. I thought it'd be great to just have them on the wall so I can just see them. Um, and then these are just cute. They're interesting for the kids to look at. And hopefully with that music, I can put a little, I can put our CDs in there and have a little music listening station. Here's our dramatic play. Um, the center sign fell off there, but so it looks like I need to get those reinforced a little bit better, but set up as a bakery. I've been having parents come over. I have these um, some information from them. This is all was a download as well, so I can show them about the curriculum we're going to be using. And, um, you know, it's been a great tool and a great resource for that, as well as this developmental continuum of skills that's also available for download. Um, and then you've got the sensory here, which is really, really simple. But again, I probably have f way too many uh, things out right now for a first start of a class. These things need to be introduced, but it's just sort of like a preview. As parents come, they can get a little bit of an idea of how it works and just have a few things set up for kids to work on while they're here. Um, but yeah, thanks again for viewing. If you have any